today we're checking out the funniest clips in the world of Fortnite. I'm going to purposely try and get myself banned and I have some incredible news about the return of my icon skin. This person made an incredible concept of how a legacy battle pass could look. You can go through and use V-Bucks to buy old battle passes from previous seasons. Look, I'm not going to lie, this looks absolutely incredible. Hit the like button if you'd love to see old battle passes return to Fortnite, but I just don't see Fortnite doing it. However, one thing that is returning to Fortnite is my icon skin. The first time it has ever re-returned since being launched in May. Coming in this Thursday's item shop turnover, you'll be able to pick up the Ali icon skin on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for three days only. If you missed it last time, do not miss out. It would support me massively if you put code Ali into the item shop before picking up my skin. I'll be giving tons of shout outs just like this and live streaming the return of my skin here on the channel, so don't miss out. Me on my way to get killed as soon as I land for the third time in a row. I gotta admit, this season feels quite sweaty. Is that just me? Yo, dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you should, like, join it or something. I'm gonna have to give that a hot pass, Darth Vader. I'm really sorry. Paradise is over. Go home. Before season four, it is very dangerous. Literally the first week of the season. Take down the Herald. Yeah, look, you do have to take down the Herald pretty early this season, but it does not mean that all of the Chrome has been eliminated from the island. There's still so much more of a story to happen this season. So, how long have you been playing this game? About five years now. So, are you a good player? Look, I'm not bad in no build mode. I'll give myself that. But builds mode I haven't returned to in many a months. I would be hot trash. Just a few examples of what good super style should look like. Yo, I gotta admit, I'd actually be tempted to say the Rick and Morty rainbow one is my favorite. But the rainbow Iron Man, oh my gosh. You have to grind to get these. I'm actually very sad that I never got it. It looks incredible. This is how you command an NPC to bait an enemy. Now, NPCs have had a big like improvement this season by the way so let's see what they're gonna pull off here someone's building wait you can actually use those new commands oh what a shot man i need to hire these npcs i saw some people pulling off some crazy things with a balloon and flare guns when they're reintroduced for the season five challenges let's see what this person can pull off okay going up in the air Oh my god, firing it downwards. This person cannot hit him. He's only got a shotgun. <gasps> oh, oh. Wait, let's see if someone can pull that off a little bit better. I saw these other people using the tactics. It's time for Venom to give it a go. Balloons in the storm. Oh, some big shots. Landing straight down. Pump straight into the back. Okay, this is how you use balloons, people. Although I do get the idea of shooting the flare gun on the floor to, like, set people on fire. It's a good idea. I know it looks like this person has aimbot and can see all the people on the map. I'm pretty sure it's just replay mode. Zooming up in the air. Tons of shots in the back. The person had no idea. Balloons are so much better than we ever realized. Don't forget, I'm going to be trying to get myself banned on purpose at the end of this video. You don't want to miss it. We've got a new update on the most used skins one week into this season. The Paradigm's dropped down and Bites has flown up despite Bites getting so much hate last week. He's the number one skin right now. People are liking him. What about poor Grizz? I think he's such a cool skin. First Tire Royale of the season. Tire Guy is back. This guy's created a name for himself. Literally through killing people with ties. I love the new back bling edition, by the way. That is so good. Woo! This guy's got skills. This person is loving the new chrome wall gimmick. Hmm. Gimmick, eh? Oh my! That is unlucky. This win is apparently a dirty one. The OG carbide skin, by the looks of it. So this person has been playing a lot of Fortnite. Falling down. Oh! What a shot, mate. Hey, people are loving these balloons, i got to admit. I'm loving the new Evo Chrome Burst Rifle as well. Massive fan. Oh, wait. Wait, what am I watching right now? Taking up the enemy. Yeeting them. Oh, my. God. Don't kill yourself, mate. Oh, my. This person is a balloon professional. They got slam dunked. This person finds a present. Throws it down. Oh, nice. <laughs> this cat's like, no, nah, I'm having none of it. I'm having none of it, mate. <laughs> and flexes on him. Me going to reboot my teammates knowing I'm about to get sniped. Yeah, honestly, I've been headshot sniped a lot this season. 
Uh, maybe we should remove one-shot snipers. I don't know. Are you enjoying one-shot snipers or are you getting killed a lot by it? I have to remind people that this is a thing. Not only can you now direct your NPCs to attack people, you can go up to an NPC and hire them whilst you're down and they will literally revive you. Just in case you haven't seen that this season, NPCs are so much better. Okay, ignore the low quality and just pay attention to this snipe. So that person tried to hit the person in front of them and didn't hit them. Watch this. So the bullet misses them, goes through a tree, through another tree, and just hits that person out of nowhere. What is that? Look at this incredible concept skin by Ponzip. It's all based on a disco ball. We've got a microphone, disco head, little dance mat, back bling. Gotta say, mate, really cool. This person apparently left their glider in the lobby. How do you even do that? Whoa, it's still annoying. Yeah, look, honestly, if llamas could have less health and not move around the map and honestly be less of them because then it was so exciting back in the day. If you found a llama, there was only three maximum on the island at once. It was a beautiful feeling. Now I see them and just let them run away. Whoa, this person's big brain that he's put on the superhero skin made everything gray and silver to perfectly blend in with the chrome. I'm just saying, I wouldn't be able to spot you with that skin on. I don't know if I want to see this, but... Apparently, you can break animals' hearts. So this person is taking down this person, flying away in balloons. Oh, my gosh. Destroyed. And then look. Look. They're heartbroken. Fuming. They're upset that they killed their owner. Okay, what is it with people hitting crazy snipes they didn't mean to hit? Lining up at the person over there, and someone literally just jumps into his bullet. Oh, damn, this is sick. The Seven Doom Slayer. If you didn't know, Doom is rumored to be a collab skin coming to the game very soon. And if they had a crossover with the Seven, it'd look so good. I haven't bought anything from the item shop in months. Loads of V-Bucks, nothing to spend on. Thank goodness the Ali A icon skin is coming back. You finally got something to buy. Mate, People are fuming that this season's pickaxe, which has tons of styles, can only be used by bites, which I totally get. A great pickaxe that will barely be used because you can only use it with one skin. Okay, when the G fuel hits hard, person's jaw. What? What's going on? Is he all right? He's running for his life, going nowhere. It's like my worst nightmare. You're trying to sprint away and you're just not moving at all. What the? How is, how is Gwen walking sideways on a wall? I'll tell you what, with all of these glitches, these people are going to get themselves banned too. As I promise you, I am literally going to try and get myself banned right now. Now, this was inspired by Hypex that tweeted out this image that said you can get banned instantly from doing this. And it all comes down to this device right here. I purchased one of these just to make this video for you guys. It's a device that allows you to plug any controller in and use it on any console. But you can also apparently boot up mods and other naughty things that Epic Games don't want you to use. Remember, this thing will get you banned in Fortnite, so do not use it. I just tried this on my PC and I couldn't get it to work, so I've booted up my PS5. I've plugged in the Cronus Max to my PS5 and then plugged a PlayStation controller into it, and as you can see, it's working, which it wasn't doing on my PC. I'm gonna boot up Fortnite and try and jump into a game. I'm in. I'm in the pre-game lobby, but apparently, you can't can't get any further than this. If this is right, Fortnite should kick me from the game as soon as I jump from the battle bus. All right, can cheaters now play Fortnite? It knows something isn't right. I did not just leave the game. There was an error. The device you're using is not allowed. Remove your device and restart Fortnite. It's safe to say I will never be using this thing again. And you shouldn't either. Guys, don't forget my icon skin is back tomorrow. And click on screen to find out all the information you need to know about this Fortnite story. There's so much going on. I'll see you over there.